Welcome to JSA TV and JSA Podcasts. I'm Jamie Scott Ukataya, CEO and founder of JSA. And joining me today is Mr. Paul O'Hara. He's the Senior Strategic Account Manager for Data Centers of Cummins. Paul, welcome to JSA TV. Thank you. It's good to be here. It's great to have you. And for our viewers who may not already know, could you tell us a little bit about Cummins data center business? Yes, uh, Cummins um, provides backup power to data centers. And so we sell uh, our larger engines coupled to generators. Um, these are diesel engines mostly uh, to provide power uh, during power outages or any type of curtailment uh, when um, the data center needs it. And yeah. so it's, it's always on standby, it's always ready, uh, and it's ready to run for uh, up to the limit of the fuel that they have. So usually about 30 hours before refueling. So we usually sell to, um, in, in our group, we sell to the larger data center accounts, that is um, the household name accounts. So there'll be um, data centers global uh, and there's um, teams of people that uh, sell and um, provide project management for these data centers. And uh, looking over your, your website, uh, your latest news, you guys have uh, had a banner year. You uh, ended 2021 with high ratings from the Wall Street Journal. You're in the Wall Street Journal's 2021 Management Top 250, as well as uh, Newsweek's 2022 Most Responsible Companies list, both amazing lists to be on, as well as other sustainability accolades. So can you tell us how does Cummins sustainability commitments really roll over to your data center practice? It's kind of seamless. Um, all of our products uh, are made in factories that have sustainable policies and procedures. Um, all of our um, field crews that go out and service uh, these things are um, under the same type of sustainable guidelines. Um, and so, and we work with our customers too, as, as um, some of these larger customers are pretty far along on, on sustainable development. And so the call I just got off of was uh, R&D for fuel cells, uh, putting them, uh, running the data centers on hydrogen. So we're working together for long range um, uh, projects where um, we can be um, green and sustainable and um, environmentally um, uh, friendly for the years to come. Yeah, and, and that actually brings me to my next question. Um, smooth transition, I appreciate that. But of course, we all know Cummins is one of the top global providers of backup power solutions, particularly for the data center industry. What, you know, what are you hearing? What are the new trends that you expect to see in this space, particularly for 2022? More, uh, more hydrogen? Well, more talk of hydrogen. Hydrogen is still a ways off because we need some infrastructure. We need the products to be developed. Um, we need the costs to come down uh, and that'll come down with volume. And so um, right now it's, it's more um, the current products, making them um, less expensive, um, smaller, um, uh, cleaner, um, and then running on some sustainable fuels like um, the uh, HVO, which is a, is a synthetic diesel that's made from plants. And so we see a lot of data centers as they look at um, being um, able to get rid of fossil fuels in the data center and, and decrease the signature that they have of carbon, going to those types of fuels in their existing equipment. As, as a stopgap until we get to a hydrogen type um, backup system. Uh, this is exciting. I, I feel like every conversation I'm on these days, I'm sure you do as well. We're talking sustainability. We're talking about uh, what can we do to reduce those uh, carbon emissions. Um, and I know of course, Cummins being very active in this, in this role, but what can we expect to see from Cummins, uh, particularly your data center practice in 2022 and beyond? What are you particularly focused in on? Um, 
I guess all of those things that I talked about uh, for our current products, um, becoming less expensive, that is a power density, getting more power out of the existing product, um, becoming uh, faster to market, that is uh, our, our uh, production cycles need to squeeze down so that we give our customers more uh, time uh, before they have to order equipment. Um, our costs need to come down. And so it's a tough time for reducing costs because everybody has cost, um, cost pressures nudging the prices upward. And so uh, in spite of that, we're trying to, trying to reduce our costs. So these are the times that we need to do that, those things. It's the next you know, 12, 36 months. Yeah, it, it is. It's a crazy time. We're trying to decrease costs, streamline processes, make it more efficient, effective, and sustainable. Mm -hmm. That's not a, an easy uh, an easy order for sure. But certainly, Cummins is um, is uh, moving forward and 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 embracing um, basically this uh, this new way of doing business. Um, so, where should our viewers go to learn more about Cummins Data Center Arm? Well, uh, Cummins.com, and uh, we go to the power systems area of Cummins.com, and there's some data center marketing materials there. All of our products can be found there. Um, and uh, yeah, you'll find out all sorts of things about Cummins that you never knew. Well, thank you so much, Paul. It was a pleasure having you on JSA TV and JSA podcasts. And thank you, viewers, for tuning in to JSA TV. As always, stay safe and happy networking. Thank you.